Adela Elbel, the queen of Czech comedy, is back and she's brought a plus one, or rather plus three if you count her other kids. Meet Greta, the newest member of the Elbel clan. Greta's arrival has shaken things up, but in a good way. Think less earthquake, more gentle rocking. She's a calm baby, which is a blessing for a busy comedian. Adela is thrilled to be back on stage. Motherhood hasn't slowed her down. It's fueled her comedic fire. Her new show, Trojadina, is proof. It premieres October 14th. Mark your calendars, folks. This is one comedy show you won't want to miss. Get ready to laugh your socks off. Newborn babies and sleep deprivation go together like peanut butter and jelly. Or maybe more like coffee and concealer. Adela knows the struggle all too well. She jokes about the breastfeeding hormones affecting her brain. It's like a mental fog, but with more punchlines. My brain is like Swiss cheese, she quips, full of holes. Luckily, Greta is a good sleeper, a real champion of the Sleep Olympics. This gives Adela some much needed rest to conquer the world, or at least the comedy stage. Her husband, Michal, was worried about the nighttime wake up calls, but Greta's sleep habits have him breathing a sigh of relief. He might even get some sleep himself. Everyone has an opinion on who Greta resembles. The online peanut gallery seems to think she's her dad's mini-me. Adela doesn't mind. He's handsome, she shrugs, so I'll take it as a compliment. But Adela sees herself in Greta too. Those baby pictures don't lie. It's like looking in a time-travelling mirror. Except Greta has a slightly darker complexion. And those eyebrows? Definitely her dad's. Adela jokes that Greta is an improved version of herself. Healthier too, she adds with a wink. The great baby lookalike debate continues. But one thing's for sure, Greta is adorable. And she's already stealing the show, even before she can walk. Being a mum is a full-time job. Being a comedian is another full-time job. Adela is doing both, simultaneously. She's basically a superhero, minus the cape. She's writing jokes, rehearsing routines, and changing diapers, all in a day's work. It's a chaotic juggling act, but she's making it work, with a healthy dose of humor, of course. Trojedina is her comeback show, it's a celebration of motherhood, womanhood, and the hilarious messiness of life. It's her story, told through jokes. The tour kicks off on October 14th. It's a whirlwind schedule, but Adela is ready. She's bringing the laughs, and maybe a few spit-up stains. Get ready, Czech Republic. Section 5. Trojedina. A comedy cocktail of life, love and laughter. Trojedina is more than just a comedy show. It's a relatable, hilarious and sometimes poignant exploration of what it means to be a woman in today's world. It's about relationships, the single life and the joys and struggles of motherhood. It's about finding yourself amidst the chaos and laughing along the way. Adela draws on her own experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly. She turns them into comedic gold. It's raw, honest, and laugh out loud funny. The title, Trojadina, speaks to the multifaceted nature of women. We are mothers, partners, friends, professionals, and so much more, all rolled into one hilarious package. Section 6. Decoding Trojadina. Themes and Questions. Trojadina delves into some big questions. What does it mean to be happy? How do you find love after divorce? Is self-help just a bunch of hooey? 
Adela tackles these questions with humor and honesty. She doesn't offer easy answers. Instead, she invites the audience to laugh along with her as she navigates the complexities of life. The show focuses on a divorced woman in her 40s starting over. It's a story of resilience, self-discovery, and the pursuit of happiness. It's a story many can relate to. It's about embracing the unknown, taking risks, and finding humor in the unexpected. It's about finding your own definition of happiness, even if it means breaking a few rules along the way. Section seven, self-help or self-delusion. A comedic inquiry. Adela pokes fun at the self-help industry, bringing her unique perspective to the stage. Those ESO courses and motivational books that promise the moon and the stars. Do they really work? Or are they just a clever marketing scheme designed to empty your wallet? Adela dives into these questions with a mix of skepticism and humor. She explores these questions with her signature wit, making the audience laugh while pondering the effectiveness of self-help. She shares her own experiences with self-help, the successes and the epic fails, making it all the more relatable. It's a hilarious and relatable journey of self-discovery filled with laughter and insights. She doesn't shy away from the absurdity of it all, embracing the ridiculousness with open arms. The chanting, the crystals, the affirmations, all the quirky elements of self-help culture. It's all fair game in Adela's comedic world, where nothing is off limits. And it's guaranteed to make you laugh, perhaps even to the point of tears. Adela's not here to judge or preach. She's here to make you laugh, to entertain, and to share a good time. And maybe, just maybe, to make you think twice about that expensive self-help retreat you've been eyeing. After all, laughter might just be the best self-help of all. Section 8. Long Distance Love and the Parent Trap Long-distance relationships are tough. They require patience, trust, and a lot of communication. Add kids to the mix, and it becomes a whole new level of complicated. Balancing parenting duties with maintaining a relationship can feel overwhelming. Adela explores the challenges and triumphs of love across the miles. She delves into the emotional roller coaster that comes with being apart from a loved one. She shares her own experiences with honesty and humor. The late night phone calls, the missed birthdays, and the longing to be together. The logistical nightmares of coordinating visits. Planning trips and finding the time to see each other can be a real challenge. It's all part of the long distance love story. Every moment apart makes the moments together even more precious. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are moments of joy and laughter that make the distance bearable. There are also the sweet reunions, the inside jokes, and the little things that keep the connection alive. The unwavering support that makes it all worthwhile. Knowing that someone is always there for you, no matter the distance. Adela captures the bittersweet reality of long distance love. The highs and lows, the laughter and the tears. She finds the humor in the chaos, the missed connections, the miscommunications, and the funny moments that come with it. The moments of sheer absurdity, the times when everything seems to go wrong, but you still find a way to laugh. It's a relatable and heartwarming portrayal of love in the modern age, a testament to the strength and resilience of those who love across the miles. Section 9. Curtain Call. A comedian's journey continues. Adela Elbel is back, and she's funnier than ever. Her wit and charm have only grown stronger, captivating audiences everywhere. Motherhood has given her a new perspective, a new voice, 
and a whole lot of new material. Her experiences as a mother have added depth and richness to her comedy. Troja Dinar is a must-see for anyone who's ever juggled a career, a family, and a semblance of sanity. It's a relatable and heartwarming show that resonates with many. It's a show about the messy, beautiful, hilarious reality of being a woman. Adela's humour shines a light on the everyday chaos and joy of life. Adela invites you to laugh along with her as she navigates the ups and downs of life. Her connection with the audience is